So the concept of a loop is basically just what it sounds like. You want something to happen over and over and over again. And you might be wondering, well, why would anyone want that to happen? Well, actually, depending on the type of program you're running or creating, that could be a very common thing that you might need to uh, get into. So one example of that is a video game. When it comes to writing computer games, you basically have the main game loop that's always running because if that loop was to stop, the program stops and then the player is booted out of the game. So you basically want your game in engine to be continually running, continually checking things. So while I'm going to come up with an example in this video that's not the most exciting in the world because again, we're still in the basics phase of Python, um, I do want to illustrate that concept and basically show you how to do something over and over again. So I'm going to show you how to write that loop statement right now. So over here in my text editor, I have loop.py open. That's what I chose to call it. And I'm going to show you how to write a simple loop right now. So first of all, we need a variable to work with. So I'm going to call mine my num and I'm going to set it equal to one. To create a loop, we use the while statement, which is just like it sounds. We type while, and then similar to the if statement, we're doing a comparison. So we want to know if my num is less than or equal to 10. And we're going to use a colon there, just like we do with the if statement, like what we did in the last video. And as always, Python cares about indentation. So to anything indented is going to be part of the while statement, and we want to indent four times. All right, so here what I'm going to do is print the contents of my num. And then here in yet another line, I'm going to go ahead and increase the value of my num. Otherwise, if we don't change the value, this loop is going to run forever, which is called an infinite loop. So what I'm going to do is recreate the variable my num, and I'm going to set it equal to whatever my num is currently, but plus one. So what I'm going to do basically is replace the value or the variable my num with a new version that's the same, but plus one. So I'll go ahead and save the file and let's run it. Chmod plus x to make sure that is executable. And let's go ahead and check it out. And we can see basically what it's doing is it's just going to print one through 10 on each line because essentially what's going to happen is we're setting my num equal to one and then the while statement takes control. And this while statement will repeat forever until its condition is true. I'm setting the condition here to being the content of my num. As long as it's less than or equal to 10, this is going to continue to happen. So basically it's going to print whatever that is currently and then as you already know, it's going to go ahead and increase its value by one. And that's why when we ran the program, we actually got one through 10 because it simply looped through 10 different times, each time printing the value of my num. Now, as I mentioned, it's an infinite loop when you have a while statement that never ends. And maybe that's what you want. Like maybe if you're designing a game, you don't want the while loop to end unless someone terminates the program. But if I was to go ahead and remove this line right here, which I'm just going to go ahead and do that, I wouldn't recommend you try this, but you know what, I'll go ahead and do it. Now I'm not actually increasing the value of my num. I'm going to go ahead and minimize that and let's go ahead and run the program again and see what an infinite loop looks like. And you can see it's just printing one over and over and over again. I'm going to do control C and you know to break out of the program and let's go ahead and bring it up into the screen. So what you're seeing right here is that we set my num equal to one and it's simply going to print my num forever because it's basically only going to terminate the loop whenever my num is greater than 10, which never is the case because I'm never increasing the value of that variable. All right, so I went ahead and added that back in there just to make sure I didn't do any Thing crazy with the syntax. I'll just run it again. And you can see, of course, it's just printing one through 10. So we are back to normal with the original version of this program. Now, something that you can actually do is also include else with this as well. What's going to happen when we do that? Well, let's go ahead and add an else statement in here and find out. And for this particular else statement, I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing again. I'm going to print my num. Save the file and let's run it. And now you can see it's actually printing up to 11. Well, why is it printing up to 11? We only want it up to 10. Well, basically the else statement in a while loop is going to execute when the while loop 
condition is no longer true. So when this runs the last time, it's basically adding 1 to 10 because by then it has reached 10 and then becomes 11. But it doesn't basically constitute a, another run because at this point it's above 10 and it's not going to execute again. So simply it's just going to fail over to the else statement when this criteria is no longer meant, met. And then it's going to simply print the contents of the variable, which at that point will be 11. So yes, you can use else with while as well. Now when it comes to the while loop, that's basically it. It's just that simple. So there you go, guys. That was your quick video on creating a while loop. I know this was a quicker video, but you know, it is what it is. It's a simple concept. It's something you'll most likely use uh, again and again as you go along, especially if you ever get into game development or anything like that. So definitely a concept you should know and recognize. And uh, go ahead and stay tuned, guys. I should have the next video in this series uploaded very soon. I'll see you there. Thank you so much for watching my video, guys. I really appreciate it. And if you want to help me out, go ahead and check out the links in the show notes below this video, where I have a link to my Patreon page, as well as an Amazon store, where I have a listing of hardware that I've personally tested myself to be compatible with Linux. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. And I look forward to making more videos for you guys very soon. Thanks again.